TV, yoga practice in your home. I'm Mary Ann Ames. And I am Brett Parker. VP in the house today. We're super excited to be able to present to you uh, slow flow vinyasa. So all you need is a mat and some sort of stable surface. Maybe grab yourself some um, cushions off your couch and let's go. So um, let's start on our back breath. Go ahead and come all the way down onto your back. And then from here, we're going to take Supta Baddha Konasana. So allow the soles of your feet to connect. Your knees can come out wide. If you have a tender back, you can always bring a cushion underneath your sacrum. Or you can bring both uh, pillows underneath your knee to support your hips. Bring one hand to your heart center, one hand to your belly. <sighs> and just allow yourself to arrive in the room. Giving yourself permission to let go. Giving yourself permission to be. Coming home to your breath. Coming home to your body. Take a scan of your body. Notice if there's any tension. And with the magic of your breath, send your breath to those areas. And on your exhale, go ahead and release any tension in your body. Release any tension in your chest. Release any tension you're holding in your shoulders. Allow the muscles of your face to soften. Allow your jaw to relax. Begin to notice the energy between your solar plexus, Manipura, and your heart chakra, your Anahata. Your Manipura, your solar plexus beneath your belly, is earth chakras. Your place of power. Your anahata beneath your palms on your heart is the connection between earth and the divine chakras. So again, notice the exchange of energy and allow yourself to settle a little bit more. Begin to focus on the rise and fall of your belly. Just notice as it is. Just observing sensation. Moving energy throughout your body. Breathing one moment at a time. And then we'll begin deep belly breathing for about two minutes. As you breathe in, feel your belly rise up as it presses into your palm. As you breathe out, allow your belly to deflate down, pressing your sacrum down into the mat. Imagine there is a balloon in your belly on the inhale that rises up and inflates, pressing against your palm. On the exhale, it begins to deflate, lowering navel to spine. Going at your own rhythm, your own pace, working to lengthen your inhales and your exhales. Equalizing. Soothing and calming your nervous and autonomic system. Through the practice of deep belly breathing, we begin to calm down our flight or fight response. So many of us are shallow breathing, just utilizing breath in our lungs. When we begin to deep belly breathe, we begin to soften. 
to lower cortisol levels, releasing, relieving stress, releasing fear and anxiety. Find another full deep breath in. Open your mouth. We'll move into asana. We'll take half happy baby. You can extend your left leg longer, keep your left leg bent. Bring your hand, your hand either to the inside of your right ankle, to the inside of your right foot, or take your two peace fingers, wrap them around your big toes, press your sacrum down into the mat over your shoulders. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, gently pull your knee towards the mat. Press your heel towards the ceiling. Continuing to breathe. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bend your left knee if you haven't already. Lower the left sole of your foot to the mat. We'll take figure four across your right over your left. Flex for your right ankle. If it feels good, you can take your right hand to the inside of your right thigh, cross away. Otherwise, you can go or be peace at it too. You can take your hands back behind your hamstrings. Even if you'd like, you're welcome to bring your leg up towards the ceiling. Be sure that you're flexing toes towards your nose and give a gentle pull. In yin, it's not pain or discomfort, it's just sensation. So I invite you to go in search of sensation as you begin to play with your edge. Sending your breath to any areas that feel rough or sharp. Allowing breath to soften and round those edges out. More, breathe in, breathe out. Keep your right foot where it is. Bring your arms out to a T. Lower your left foot to the mat and gently allow your right knee to fall to the right side. If this is too much sensation, you can always release and unravel your legs, or you can stay on like breath. Yogi's choice. Take the opportunity to gently breathe space into the left side of your body. Noticing space in your cubal muscles. Honoring space between lowest rib and hip. And then breathing space in between each rib. Very slowly begin to bring your knees back towards center, moving mindfully easing out of the posture, and then take any sort of counter posture. You can always release that foot down on the mat and rounding your legs. If it feels good, you can take sacrum circles. Maybe something else feels right for your body. That's the best part about yoga practice. You get to tune into what you need. You begin to trust your body and what it's asking you to do. So take this time to create whatever shape feels right for you. Ready for the other side, my friend? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Set yourself up. You can either extend right leg long or keep it bent. We'll take half happy baby. Again, the variation, the inside of your foot, the inside of your leg. You take your two piece fingers, breathe in. And as you breathe out, gently pull your knee down towards the mat. Press through your heel. Stay with your breath. Take these first few seconds here on this side to notice the difference from side to side. I certainly feel a little tighter on one side. No good, no bad, just observing sensation. Committing to staying with yourself in a place else you need to be.
Breathe in. Breathe out. We'll take figure four, so lower the sole of your right foot to the mat, bend your right knee. Bring your right foot, your left foot on top of your right thigh. Flex through your ankle, you can stay here and gently press out in figure four. If you want to go a little bit more, you can take your hand behind your hamstring and pull, or like BP, lift your legs straight up to the sky. Again, you get to choose. It's your body, your way. All I'm asking is you stay connected to breath. If you are breathing, you are practicing yoga. So tune in to what you need. Stay connected to sensation and breathe into the belly of your muscle. Leave your left foot where it is. Bring your arms out to a T, lower the sole of your right foot to the mat. We'll take our knees to the left side of your room again. Be mindful of what you need. You can always unravel your leg. Stack your knees side by side. You can keep your leg where it's at. Lower your shoulders down. And again, with ease and mindfulness, begin to breathe space into the right side of your body. Again, noticing difference from side to side. One of my favorite girls, Monica, taught me, our hips are not identical. They are a lot like our eyebrows, right? We'd like for them to be identical. We might pay a lot of money for them to look identical, but identical they are not. So noticing difference from side to side. Breathe in, breathe out. Very slow, bring your foot back up and round your leg if it's all tied up. And then take any movement you need. Maybe you want to bicycle your legs. Maybe certainly not your hips. Listening to what you need. Begin to transition your hands to the backs of your hamstrings. We're going to slowly begin to rock and roll our spine. So begin to start small. Just making gentle movements. We'll rock and roll one more time and find ourselves in Sukhasana easy pose. Crisscross out the sauce if that feels good for you. For me, I prefer hero's pose. And my hips, they got a lot to tell me. So for me, putting a cushion back behind and taking a seat feels best for me. Whatever gives you access to a long straight spine. Just give yourself a few minutes to transition into this new posture and to connect with the energy beneath you. Beneath your mat, beneath the floor, deep in the ground, the connection of the earth. Allow yourself to ground in the present moment, welcoming the gifts. And you can keep your eyes closed if you like, we're just coming to begin to warm up with shoulder rolls. Your pace, just staying with your breath. Don't forget, we gotta go the other direction, so when you're ready, begin to shift the other direction. Ooh, I got some crunches in there. <laughs> crunchy goodness. Crunchy goodness. We're relieving that crunch. I'm going to lie with your hands below or down on an inhale. Arms sweep up and over your head. Leave your arms up high. Bring your shoulders up towards your ears. Crunch them up. And on an exhale, lower them down. So inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, reach and stretch up high, on an exhale, bend your elbows, cactus shirt, 
arms. Mm, lift your heart high. Oh, I don't know about you, my heart needs some space. Just hang out here for a couple breaths. Allowing shoulders to release. Give your heart some room to grow. And today, our hearts grew three times their size. On an inhale, begin to bring your hands forward. Round your spine. Tuck your chin. Breathe behind your heart. On an exhale, bend your elbows. Cactus your arms. Heart lifts high. Inhale, round forward. Tuck. Breathe behind your heart. Exhale, cactus. Bend it. Expand. Move with your breath. Maybe you want to slow it down. Maybe it feels good to stay in a certain part of this posture. Continue to breathe. One more full time through. Round. Breathe behind your heart. Exhale, open all the way up. Then bring your hands to the small of your back for a shoulder rinse. If this isn't accessible for you, a towel works really good. If you have a strap at home, you're welcome to. Allow your shoulders to roll away. Press your sit bones down into the mat. Slowly begin to roll all the way forward for child's pose. If you're in Sukhasana, maybe switch around to heroes now. Or you can stay where you're at if that feels good to you. We'll take embryos, so knees are a little bit closer together. Just being gentle. Hands can stay in shoulder rinse for just a few more breaths if that feels okay for you. And then we'll open up to child's pose. If it's okay for your hips, you can take your knees a little bit wider. Allow your hips to seep towards your heels. Again, if this doesn't feel good for you, child's pose is always accessible in embryo, which is hands beside your knees or closer together. Hands can also come back behind you. So again, I encourage you to take the shape that feels right for you. Just allow your hands to be passive in front of you. There's nothing for you to do. Staying connected to the present moment. Then begin to activate your child's pose. Press into your fingertips. Tent through your fingertips. Roll your shoulder blades away from your ears. Take this opportunity to expand your upper back. Once again, with intention, send your breath into the space behind your heart. Slowly begin to walk your hands all the way back. Find yourself in hero's pose. And from hero's pose, we'll take tabletop position. So begin to walk your hands forward. We'll bring our knees closer together for tabletop. We'll be heading into Anahata, melting heart. In melting heart, keep your hips stacked over top of your knees. And then you're going to lower down onto your forearms. Keep your hips high. Eventually lowering forehead down to the mat, working to allow your chest to soften as it begins to lower down to your mat. If this is too much, you can always bend your elbows, cactus your arms. You can always bring a cushion, bring the earth up towards you to help ease sensation a little bit. If you're looking for a little bit more sensation, chin can be on the mat, gaze can be forward. Big heart opener here. So if your heart has been hiding a little bit these past few days, take this opportunity to allow that space to open, to allow your heart to soften, trusting that you're safe here. We come to our mats for many reasons, but what's inevitable is that we are here to feel. It's a safe space to feel what you need to feel. You can take what you need here. In order to heal it, you have to feel it. So come home to yourself and give yourself the space.
to heal. From Anahat to slowly begin to lower belly down, all the way down on your mat. Let your legs slide behind you. And then reach and stretch your hands in front of you, full prostration. Your forehead is on the mat, palms together in Anahata Mudra for your position. Make a little bit of space between your palms. If you have came with an intention today, I invite you to place that intention between your palms. If not, imagine maybe some words that you wish somebody would say to you today. Or maybe words that you wish that you could say to loved ones. So place that intention between your palms. Seal your palms. Breathe in. Breathe out. On an inhale, attach your attention to your breath. Expand it into every part of your body. As you exhale, open your palms up. Send that intention into the world. Manifest your intention. Good, release your hands, palms, come back down. We're going to take lean pose. There's a couple different variations. We'll start on the right side. You can extend your right arm out long, palm is down. Or you can bend your right elbow, creating cactus arm. That's Yogi's choice. You'll take your left fingertips next to your chest and begin to roll onto your right hip. You can choose to stay here as you press into your left fingertips if that sensation you're looking for. If you want to take it more, you can always find a half bind for your left shoulder. You can always play with the placement of your top leg, maybe bending, or if you want to get into your quad, you can bend your top leg and gently pull. Lots of variations and lots of options depending upon what you need. Again, I invite you to go in search of sensation, but if it hurts, don't do it. Find sensation playing with the edge where it's honoring your body. Come back home to your breath. Find three full rounds of breath here. Breathe in, breathe out. Very slowly, any variations you have, begin to bring your body back to where it started. Go ahead and release your left hand, roll over onto your belly and send your right shoulder all the love it needs. My right shoulder has some things to say to me. And then set yourself up for the left side again, honoring your body. Lots of options. Palm can be down, stretched out to a T. If this is too much for you, begin to bring your hands down towards your glutes. You can always bend your elbow. Focusing where you need to focus, tuning into your own radio station. So it's red 95.5, right? Mm -hmm. Breathe in, breathe out. Very slowly, any variations that you have, begin to return them back to where they started. Slowly come back over onto your belly, send your left shoulder some love. This next posture we'll take is Sphinx Pose. So begin to lift your chest up off the mat. Lower your forearms to the mat. Walk your elbows close to your ribs. Press into your palms. Press the tops of your feet into the mat. Press your hip bones down into the mat. Work to press your pelvis down into the mat. And then finally, allow your shoulders to soften away from your ears. 
Soften the muscles of your face. Soften your eyes. Spine strengthening, so do your best to release the work in your glutes and hamstrings. Just feeling the lengthening and the opening in your lower back up to mid back. Stay with breath. Reach up towards the ceiling. 
press evenly into both of your hands. Your chest is square to the mat. Maybe you want to roll out your ankles, point your toes. That's right, point your flex. Ooh, look at that cool Steve the scorpion tail. <laughs> Inhale your right leg back, high three-legged dog. On an exhale, bring your knee to nose, squeeze and hold. Flex your toes. Step it through low crescent moon. So step your right foot through low and your left knee down to the mat. Be sure your left knee is right over top of your left. Left. Right knee is over your right ankle. On an inhale, bring your hands up to the tops of your thigh. High flying dragon. Once again, make sure alignment is good. If it feels good, you can step forward a little bit, giving yourself a little bit more space. Just ease and allow the weight of your upper body to begin to stretch. It's already stretching on it. Mm -hmm. I'll feel a little bit of a grab right here. Yeah. We're just going to hang out here for just a couple rounds of breath, noticing sensation. Coming back to sensation, just because we're moving a little bit more, doesn't mean we disconnect from sensation or from how things are for us. So again, I remind you to take what works for you, creating the shape that works best for your body. Very slowly lower both of your hands down to the mat. Walk your right foot out just a bit. We're going to begin to circle our hips. Jen calls this stir in the honey pot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Good. You get to take 
what you want. Again, Liz Yogi's, I do what I want, right? Whoa. Oh, I like it. Look at the control there. That's pretty good, my partner. Okay. Thanks. Two more rounds of breath. Uh huh. Very slowly begin to walk your hands back in front of your face, press into your fingertips. Maybe heel toe, heel toe your feet in just a little bit more. Bend your knees, goddess legs. Come up and bring your hands to your hips. I'm losing my pants here. A little bit of wardrobe dysfunction. All right, so goddess legs, heels in, toes out. Knees track over top, shoulder blades down and back, slight tuck of your pelvis. Inhale, lift your arms up over your head, Kali Mudra. Interlace all ten fingers, release your index fingers. Inhale, press up, straighten your legs. Exhale, bend, open your mouth, reach A. Inhale. Exhale, bend. Let's do lines work on the next one. Inhale. Exhale. Stay low. Bring your hands to the insides of your thighs. Press away your right, over your right shoulder. Yes. This is became one of my favorite stretches. I like this one a lot. Inhale, come on back to center. Exhale, left side, then press away. Oh. Inhale. Exhale, bend right. One more inhale. Exhale, bend left. Come back to center. Lower your hands down, straighten your legs. Walk your hands on either side of your right foot. Shift both of your feet to the front of the room. Slightly step your left foot in just a bit. Pyramid. Inhale. Exhale. Round. Tuck. Bring forehead to knee and breathe here. Jaw and our throat lock. So tuck your chin up and in like there is a ball of yarn between chin and chest. Taking any variation, you can always bring pillows underneath your hands if you want to bring the earth up just a little bit. both of your hands on either side of your right foot. Inhale. As you exhale, forward fold, left meets right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands, step your feet back behind you. Transition down to your tabletop position. Sink your hips back behind you. Find your child's pose. Three rounds of breath. Coming back home to yourself. Noticing how things feel. Done? Yeah, I know I'm going with them. I'm almost on the left. That's our that's our uh, media media manager. Oh uh, coming in the tell me. A little short, a little short. Alright. <laughs> Which he's one of the top. You know where we're going to go with this BP? Mm -hmm. Let's take it into our dogs. Oh, oh, it's like a honey pot. Oh, she's got to go to the honey pot. Go to the honey pot soon. See, this has become a new trend. Honey pots all over the place. Stir it honey pots. All right, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, half scorpion. Oh, and this, ooh, this lefty. Notice the difference from side to side of that. Press evenly into both of your hands. Try to square your chest to the mat. If it feels good, you can bring your knee right up towards the ceiling. You can bring your right toes to your left shoulder. Maybe roll up your ankle point and flex. Mm -hmm. Inhale your left leg high, three-legged up. Exhale, bring your knee into your nose. Flex your toes, squeeze and hold, then step it through. Low crescent moon. Right knee is on the mat. Left knee stacks right over top of left ankle. Bring your hands to the top of your left thigh. Inhale. And as you exhale, allow the weight of your upper body. And then maybe you kind of adjust your stance. I like to get a little bit wider. This is where I need my stretch. So again, stay with your breath. And tune into sensation. 
Big changes from side to side in your body? Maybe. I don't know, maybe. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Breathe in. Breathe out. Allow your hands to come down on the mat. Walk your left foot out. You know where we're going with this. Yeah. Forward fold, right knees left, 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your feet back behind you. Find yourself in high plank. Bend your elbows, shift forward. Squeeze your elbows in tight, lower your knees, your belly, your chest, and your chin all the way to the mat. Lower everything all the way to the mat. Bring your fingertips right outside of your mat. Press into your fingertips. Tent, inhale. Press, lift your chest up high. One last time. Exhale, lower everything all the way to the mat. Allow your hands to come inside you. When you are ready, take any final movements that you need. You can take any version, any posture you would like for your Shavasana. Maybe you choose to stay belly down. Maybe you want to curl onto your favorite side. Maybe you want to come onto your back. That's Yogi's choice. Wherever you're at, give yourself this time and this space to feel the resonance of your practice. To feel your body thanking you for carving out this last hour of time for you. Trust me, everyone who loves you is so glad that you have given yourself the gift of your presence. And allow your feet to relax, your calves soften, quads and hamstrings relax. Feel your hips settle in as all corners of your mat reach up to welcome you home. Your belly is soft, knowing you are safe here. Shoulders soften down. The muscles of your face relax, your jaw softens, tongue goes away from the roof of your mouth. Coming back home to your body, back home to your breath. As always, it is my sweetest joy to serve as your teacher. I will never take for granted the gift of your trust. All my love, my brightest light, and my truest respect for each of you. I look forward to when I can embrace you guys again. On behalf of my girl BP and the entire instructors here at the Show Studio, we will always be the light. We love you. Namaste. Mm. Great job. We killed it. Good. We killed it. Just monsters.